emergency. Here's your stir bar. Oh, thanks. I couldn't find a spoon. What is a stir bar? Well, it's this neat little thing that you can use to stir and mix liquids efficiently without causing a mess if you do it properly. Why is this important? Well, let me tell you about the super cool study where scientists used a stir bar in their research. This year, 2021, these scientists published a really cool paper about how to detect landmines without seriously injuring anyone. A landmine is a device that releases an explosion when someone steps on it. The scientists used something called bioluminescence. This is when a set of proteins produce something that glows. Kind of like this glow stick. Essentially, they created a way to detect landmines using bacteria. Wow! Before all of this, they had to send actual real-life people out into those fields just to find those landmines. Which is super dangerous. Exploding landmines can seriously injure or kill people. But how did they keep the glowing bacteria from absorbing into the ground? Well, they inserted them into these gelatinous beads. The bacteria continued to glow while in these beads, and then the scientists could spray them over the fields from an airplane. But in order to create these beads, the scientists had to use a stir bar. The stir bar is magnetic. Inside the stir plate is another magnetic bar that spins. Once you turn it on, it forces the stir bar to rotate. It's a really useful way to stir solutions in the lab without having to stir by hand. We need to make sure we have the right size stir bar as they come in many different shapes and sizes. As you can see, this glass is fairly large, so we want to use a stir bar that is also fairly large. If we use a small stir bar, then the liquid won't stir very well. You want to make sure you turn the machine on slowly, because if you turn it up all the way, this will happen. As you can see, this stir bar isn't having much of an effect mixing the liquid, so we'll want to use an appropriately sized bar. Before turning the machine on, be sure to look at the labels on the buttons. Sometimes there is an option to turn on the heat, which for this experiment won't prove to be very helpful. Be careful if you are using a dangerous liquid, like a strong acid, because if you turn the stir bar on too high, it can splash. And we don't want that to happen, especially if it's dangerous. Oh no, lizard mutation. Ah! For this next step, if you're planning on adding a solute to the liquid, add in the powder slowly while the stir bar is already spinning. If you put in the powder before turning the device on, it won't mix in well. But wait, how do you get this out without splashing yourself or making a mess? Well. There's this neat little tool that you can use that has a magnetic end to it that you can just stick into the liquid and the stir bar will stick to it. Clean the stir bar like you would any other piece of lab equipment. Now your solution is well mixed and you can use it however you need. And now that you know how to use the stir bar correctly, maybe you can design a technique just like these scientists to help make a safer world, which is what science is all about. One last thing. My name is Gloria Charlton and I'm in the studio art major. I never really thought I'd be interested in biology or any type of science until I took Dr. Dyer's biology class. Now I want to integrate it into my career, or, you know, make it a hobby. Making this video is one way I could do that. Perhaps if you're interested in biology or any type of science, you can do that as well. <laughs>